mathematics, geometric shapes are the figures which demonstrate the shape of the objects that we see around us in everyday life. Geometric shapes are of the form which have boundary lines, angles and surfaces. There are different types of two-dimensional shapes and three-dimensional shapes. Some of the 2D shapes are triangle, square, pentagon and the list goes on. Now for the making of this project, the materials which we are required is a glass container filled with water. It could be of any size or any shape. Next we required the ground shaped magnets, bottle caps and to make the project much more attractive we could also add the lights in the glass container just like this. Now we have to stick these round magnets into the bottle caps and we have to make them float on the water. The magnetism principle is the main concept that is involved in our model. It uses magnetism's repulsion force to form various types of polygons. For example, the first figure that we observed was an equilateral triangle. Using the repulsion force of three magnets which were placed in a container filled with water, they formed an equilateral triangle with equal angles. Then, the second figure that we observed was the square. When we placed four magnets in the container, they repelled and formed a square with equal sides and equal angles. When we will be putting up five magnets instead of four, then they will form a regular pentagon. Furthermore, the shape will be formed on the basis of the number of magnets we use. that how this model is going to help us in our daily lives. Firstly, it is very appropriate for comprehending geometrical figures. Also, the magnetic force used by the magnets and the buoyant force. It also showcases the use of mathematics in our daily lives. The project increases our practical knowledge regards with subject. Also, it is a cost-effective demonstration. We would like to express our sincere thanks of gratitude to our respected mentor, Ms. Priyanka Mehta Ma'am, as well as the respected principal sir, who gave us the golden opportunity to do this Eritreat project in the science exhibition, which also helped us in learning many more new things and integrate maths in our daily life. Secondly, I would like to thank our parents, who also helped us a lot in finalizing this project within the limited time frame. 